Redditors with thin walls, what have you heard in your apartment? In college, I lived in a crappy apartment nearby the school that was mostly populated by students. Halfway to class one day, I realized I forgot a book and had to rush back to my apartment to get it. As I was running up the stairs, which shared a wall with the stairs in the next door apartment, which mirrored my own, I could have sworn I heard someone yelling. I ignored it and ran to my room to grab my book. As I clambered downstairs, again I heard yelling, and I paused to listen. I heard some unintelligible moaning, and eventually heard the words help me, weakly groaned from the stairs next door. I rushed out and tried their door, but it was locked. I totally forgot about my class and ran to the apartment management office, hoping that someone was there. A manager was, thank goodness, and after I explained the situation, she grabbed her master keys, and we booked it back to my neighbor's place. She opened the door and the poor guy was laying in the stairwell, it was one of the ones that goes up halfway to the second floor, then turns 90 degrees for the rest of the way, clearly having fallen. I called 911 while the manager ran over to the guy. Ambulance came and picked him up, and I later learned that he had fallen down the stairs after passing into a brief diabetic coma. I guess he hadn't eaten in some time, I don't know too much about how diabetes works. Anyhow to this day, I feel grateful that I forgot that book. That poor guy could have died, slumped halfway down the stairs with his face in the carpet. Edited to add, also, relevant to the thread, I was grateful for the thin walls. Just for that though. Thin walls suck. Edited again to add, thanks Stranger Baby's first Reddit gold. My old neighbor was a cam girl, and I could hear absolutely everything she said in every single session for a good four months. Pretty much learned the names of her clients. I worked from home, and it was always a gamble whenever I had to meet with someone virtually. I once heard a former roommate laughing with his then-girlfriend about how they're fucking me over on money. Turned out they were taking my utility portion and buying various games and alcohol. Instead of confronting them, I confirmed what they said with the utilities company, they hadn't paid the bill as two months, and I moved all my stuff out that day while they were at work. For good measure, I took myself off the lease and told them about the GF that had been there six months. Lost the battle, but you won the war. Fucking losers. My downstairs neighbors are a couple with a one-year-old boy. The baby's room is right under mine. They speak so sweetly to him I'm not even mad that I can hear them so clearly. One morning the dad went in to get the baby out of bed and I hear him go can you say daddy? Can you say daddy? And in the tiniest little voice I heard daddy. My heart melted. So good to hear a story about good parents, instead of the countless shitty parent stories I've just scrolled through. Years ago I had an upstairs neighbor. At 2 am, every night, I would hear something sprint across the entire apartment. I realized three things, it was very fast, it took small strides, and it never deviated from its path. One day, I saw my neighbor outside and I said, I don't know how you have energy at 2 a.m. He responded with, dude, I've been working the midnight to 8 a.m. shift for 15 years. Doesn't bother me at all. That night, I watched him leave his house, drive off, and waited two hours. At exactly 2 a.m., I heard what sounded like two feet hit the floor in his bedroom, and the marathon started. A few weeks later, I see him outside. I tell him what I hear at night and he says, that's strange, no one has my keys, it's just me and my rabbit up there. I once heard an argument that went a little like this. Stop treating me like I'm stupid. You asked if seahorses were mammals, Jessica. They give live birth. My upstairs neighbors taking turns zapping each other with a stun gun, hitting the floor, groaning in pain, and then laughing like Beavis and Butthead. Um I'm pretty sure I'd like your upstairs neighbors. I'd totally let myself be tossed at least once. Judging by the sounds from upstairs, you'd have to allow it way more than once to roll with their crew. I actually manage an apartment complex where my office is surrounded by a one-bedroom unit. The building is old and the walls are thin. 
The tenant that used to live in the unit was a quiet man, but would frequently sing beautiful opera music. His voice was amazing and I loved it every time I heard him sing. Then one time I saw him in the halls and made the mistake of asking if he was the one who sang these beautiful opera songs. His face turned red, but he confirmed that it was him. I told him that I always enjoyed it when I heard him sing and that it would always brighten my day. Never should have said anything because I never heard him sing again. I had a neighbor who was a professional opera singer. While chatting one day I made a comment about her singing. She got embarrassed and said she would start practicing in her bedroom or another location so as to not bother me. I had to all but beg her not to do such a thing as I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've heard and felt the neighbors upstairs having sex. And apparently they like to rearrange the furniture at least twice a week. My upstairs neighbors used to do the furniture moving thing. We both had studio apartments and it was a huge mystery to me how they could move what sounded like a warehouse full of furniture for an hour in such a tiny place. Heard the couple next door arguing. The wife was furious because she realized he had been cheating on her after she found out she had chlamydia. He tried to convince her that she must have been the unfaithful one. She still lives there. He doesn't. Similar one, my brother and I shared an apartment and he told me one morning that the night before he had heard one of the male college students in the apartment above us having a heated discussion with what he assumes is the guy's girlfriend. He could only hear the guy's half of the conversation, but the line that most caught his attention was a very sincere, I wouldn't have come in her mouth if I loved her. <laughs>